Hi, this is Jeff Spence, your Math 135 instructor for Community College of Denver, and this is my introduction on the TI-83 or 84 calculator, if you're unfamiliar with how to use it. So obviously the first thing you want to do is turn it on, and the on button is down here in the lower left-hand corner, and then you'll see an icon flashing. Just so you know, if you want to turn it off to save your batteries, it, it will automatically turn off, I believe, after a little bit, but uh, to, to save your batteries to turn it off, you press second and then on. And that helps uh, introduce, or that leads me into introducing talking about the second commands and the alpha commands. Notice above every key in blue here, it'll be a different color if you have 83, I believe it's orange. But uh, there is a second command for each key. Instead of having a massive keyboard, they just use these keys and uh, they have different second commands. Some popular second commands will be the square root. So you see the blue square root symbol right there. If I plus second, and square root, if I want to do the square root of, say, 40, 48, then I can get that answer there, rounded to two digits, that would be 6.93. I can clear that answer out. Um, there's other uh, second keys, but our most popular one will definitely be the square root. Eventually, we're going to be doing second distribution, this D-I-S-T-R. So if you ever want any of these blue commands up here, just make sure uh, to press the second button first, and it'll show this little up, meaning it's ready to do the second command. And then you type that thing, and then it'll do whatever you need to do. Okay. Um, clear can usually get you out of some stuff. One of the more popular things we'll be doing eventually is using the stat button. And uh, we look into lists. You don't have to do this now. But notice if I press clear, it's not getting me out of this screen. So if you ever get stuck in a screen, or if you just want to get back to the command screen, you can press second and then mode for the quit button, second quit, and it will get you to back to what I call the command screen. Here's our blank command screen. Uh, sometimes we'll be looking at lists and doing things here in the stat. These, this is not the command screen. This is where we pick things to put into the command screen. But if you need to get out, second quit is always a good way to get to the command screen. Now let me also explain kind of how this calculator works. Um, uh, when we're in the command screen, it's asking right now, It's it, the icon's blinking. This is very much like MS-DOS, if you had the, that type of computer many years ago, um, where it's waiting for a command and then we have to press enter. So if I want to do some math, like 6 times 3, it doesn't say 18 right away. I have to press enter and then it will give me the answer. I can take that resulting answer, say, let's say I want to do 18 and I want to do that minus 5 or something like that. So I could do minus and answer is the last stored answer from the command line. And I can type minus 5 and it'll take the 18 minus 5 and give me 13. If you want to clear your answers out and clear the command screen, that's always a good thing to do before you start working on the calculator clear. That's what mainly clear is for, to clear all the commands. Um, there's other things. Sometimes we're going to be using parentheses to do various C scores and things like that. So five minus three divided by two or something, that would be one um, and clear that out. Uh, but there's always ways, let's say like um, you did six times three like we did last time and you get 18 and you wanna do say 100 divided by the answer that you just got. So if I wanted to do 100 divided by and then second negative key for answer, it'll take the last stored answer and divide by that. So you can always do it that way, second answer. The negative key is a big one, okay? So the negative key is right down here but to the right of the decimal. If you want to do like negative 5 minus 6, it'll give you negative 11, okay? So the negative key is right there, pretty popular. And then we also have the exponent key here. We'll use that later. So if I want to say do 8 to the fourth power, it'll give me that number. If you ever want to square something, like seven squared, the x squared key is right here. And you do like the seven squared is 49. And don't forget our square root. You have to do second square root first. The square root of 49 is seven. So um, that's mainly the stuff we're gonna show you on this intro. I just want you to understand that it's a command screen. So Usually before you want to do really do anything on the calculator, it's a good idea to turn it on, clear the command screen, and then start typing your commands or going into stat and doing things where I have another video that explains how to use this stat function 
and do one bar stats. But if you want to get out of there, second quit is always the big thing. And then don't forget to turn it off by doing second on. Good luck. We'll see you next time.